China is rewriting the rules of naval power, and today we're diving into one of the most groundbreaking developments in recent history, China to develop its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. If you've been following global military advancements, you'll know how significant this is. But why is it such a big deal? In this video, we'll explore how China is one step closer to a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and what it means for global naval power, and we'll uncover the evidence behind this bold move, explore why it's such a game-changer, and analyze what it means for the future of naval supremacy worldwide. It's no longer speculation. China is making significant progress toward developing its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Reports from the Middlebury Institute of International Studies have confirmed what many suspected. Analysts have uncovered detailed evidence, including satellite imagery, that strongly suggests China is working on a nuclear propulsion system for a future warship. This discovery has been described as a turning point, proving that China is indeed one step closer to a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Let's look at the details. The research focused on a site near Lishan in China's Sichuan province, where a land-based prototype nuclear reactor has been identified. At first, researchers believed the site might be producing materials for nuclear weapons. However, further analysis of the site's design, procurement documents, and environmental impact reports revealed that the reactor is intended for naval use. Specifically, it's likely being developed for a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. This prototype reactor is situated at Base 909, which is under the control of the Nuclear Power Institute of China. The base oversees multiple advanced reactor projects, and the reactor in question is part of an ambitious program codenamed Long Wei or Dragon Might. This codename underscores the national importance of the project. The significance of this breakthrough cannot be overstated. If this reactor is successful, it could eventually be adapted for deployment on China's fourth aircraft carrier, expected to enter service by the late 2020s or early 2030s. This would make China only the third nation, after the United States and France, to operate nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, putting it in an exclusive league of naval powers. This development also highlights China's commitment to technological advancement. The ability to develop and operate nuclear propulsion systems reflects a deep level of expertise in nuclear engineering and shipbuilding. It's a signal to the world that China is rapidly closing the gap with traditional naval powers, and it's doing so in a way that could redefine global maritime strategy. Why is China so invested in developing a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier? The answer lies in the strategic advantages that nuclear propulsion offers. Unlike conventionally powered carriers, nuclear-powered ones can operate for much longer periods without needing to refuel. This gives them a near unlimited range, making them ideal for global power projection. For a country like China, which aims to build a true blue water navy, this is a game changer. Currently, China operates three aircraft carriers, all of which are conventionally powered. These carriers are primarily designed for regional operations, focusing on areas like the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, and the Western Pacific. However, a nuclear-powered carrier would allow China to extend its reach far beyond its immediate neighborhood. It could enable operations in the Indian Ocean, the Pacific, and even as far as the Atlantic. This would transform China's navy from a regional force into a global power. Nuclear propulsion also provides other advantages. For one, it creates more space on the carrier for fuel, supplies, and weapons. This means a nuclear-powered carrier can carry more aircraft, more ammunition, and more provisions, making it far more capable in extended operations. Additionally, nuclear power generates significantly more energy, which is crucial for operating advanced systems like electromagnetic catapults. These catapults are essential for launching heavier and more sophisticated aircraft, giving the carrier a substantial edge in combat scenarios. China's investment in nuclear propulsion isn't just about military capability, it's also about prestige. Aircraft carriers are often seen as symbols of national power, and nuclear-powered carriers take that prestige to the next level. By developing such a vessel, China is signaling to the world that it is not only a major military power, but also a technological leader. This leap also positions China to integrate future technologies into its navy. 
nuclear-powered carriers could eventually support advanced weaponry like railguns and directed energy weapons, which require immense amounts of power. This foresight ensures that China's navy will remain competitive in the decades to come. The development of a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier has profound implications, not just for China but for the entire world. For starters, it fundamentally changes the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region. China's neighbors, including Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea, already view its growing military capabilities with concern. A nuclear-powered carrier would amplify these concerns, as it would allow China to project power over greater distances and for longer durations. For Taiwan, this development is particularly alarming. China has long asserted its claim over Taiwan, and its growing naval capabilities could be used to enforce a blockade or even stage an invasion. A nuclear-powered carrier would make such operations more feasible, as it could support sustained operations in the region without the logistical constraints of refueling. Japan and South Korea also have reasons to worry. Both nations rely heavily on maritime trade, and China's ability to project power into critical sea lanes could threaten their economic security. This is particularly true for the East China Sea, where territorial disputes between China and Japan remain unresolved. Globally, the implications are even more significant. The United States has long been the dominant naval power, with a network of alliances and bases that allow it to operate globally. A Chinese nuclear-powered carrier challenges this dominance, particularly in regions where U.S. influence is already being contested. It raises questions about how the U.S. and its allies will respond to China's growing naval power. Will they invest in their own naval expansions? Will they strengthen alliances like the Quad or AUKUS to counterbalance China's influence? The development also has diplomatic implications. China's nuclear-powered carrier could shift the dynamics of international arms control and non-proliferation agreements. It could prompt other nations to pursue similar technologies, potentially leading to an arms race in the naval domain. Finally, there's the question of how this development fits into China's broader strategy. President Xi Jinping has made it clear that he envisions a strong, modern military as a cornerstone of China's rise as a global superpower. The nuclear-powered carrier is a key part of this vision, demonstrating not just China's military strength but also its technological and industrial capabilities. China's move to develop its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier marks a turning point in global naval history. It's a bold statement of intent, signaling that China is ready to compete with the world's leading powers on the high seas. This development has far-reaching implications, from shifting regional power dynamics to challenging global naval supremacy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.